Morning guys, how we doing? Good morning, afternoon, evening everybody. The Fitzy Show, I am Fitzy. Good morning. Notifications already. The bells, the bells is my signal to start my show. Not quite in the usual place just yet, but I will be. And what I'm going to do today is uh, show you a little bit more of where I'm doing this. Because I've had a few people asking, uh, show us this abbey. So it's, uh, I live in St Albans, uh, Hertfordshire, near London. Well, kind of, about an hour away from London. But it's uh, St Albans Cathedral is where I am. Typical, I keep getting notifications. So yeah, so I'm just going to, well, I might as well show you now, show you a bit of it, if you can see. So this is one part of it. And then I'll give you a little bit of the guided tour in a second. It's really, really beautiful. Ross Dwyer, how are you, man? Are you good? Are we all gearing up for this 28-day uh, program coming up, the ultimate comeback? How's things? Have you filled out your 28-day uh, sheet, your spreadsheet, mate? Let me know. So, show me some love out there. Give me some hearts. No, this way isn't open. I thought it might be. So this is one view of the abbey. and get beyond the tree. Let's have a look. There we go. There we go. So this is one part to the abbey. Can't wait, says Ross. Need to do homework, though. <laughs> it's not homework. Um, don't like the word homework. We're not at school, are we? You know? I used to use the word homework when I started coaching, but it's more actions, it's more, uh, yeah. I like the word actions. What's your actions for the week, you know, as opposed to homework? You know, what's this thing that we bring alive? Yeah, we're not writing it on paper. We're not, it's not theory, it's live, isn't it? Live actions of what we're doing. Danny O'Reilly, how are you? Hope you're well. So this is another glimpse at the Abbey. I was determined to do a bit of this today. I hope it's not too boring. Because a few people have asked, being nosy, where is it you're walking? Looks really nice, but we can't see all of it. So I promised I would do it. So I'm going to do a bit of that sprinkled into to the live. And quite honestly, I'm killing time as well because I'm not the place where I normally should be. Quite. I'm about a minute behind rushing around like a blue ass. Do you ever have them mornings? Give me some love on here, guys. Give me some hearts and give me some, uh, just say hello, say good morning. Right, so, Abbey. There we go. And it runs all the way along over there. Really beautiful place, you know, and there's, uh, there's various bit different parts as well which are connected to it. So you can kind of get lost. I mean, I've lived here like four years and I still find places and uh, ruins and, uh, you know, historical parts to this town that I never even knew about. And here's the other way, just to give you an idea. I end up walking down there and down there, there's a big lake as well. It's called Verlamium uh, Park. So anyway, gonna crack on. There's a few numbers on there now. So what I wanna talk today about is the word trust. Yeah, trust. And I wanna ask you, how many people in your world, in your life, do you fully trust? Please put it in the comments below. Just give me a number. Yeah, it's really important this. I want people to participate and engage a little bit, you know. Put that number down below. How many people in your life currently do you trust? Is it one, two, three, 20? Put it down below. Oh, what's mine? You know what? I didn't even think myself. This has made, made me start thinking now. Ah. You know what? Four people in my world. Four people I truly trust. You know? Yeah. It's a big thing, isn't it? Ross says 15 to 20. I think you're probably lucky, my friend. If you trust 15 to 20... Other people out there, how many people do you trust? One, two, five. Yeah, I'm thinking four, man, for me. Plus one. Um, 
which I'll talk about in a minute. So yeah, trust is a huge thing. Especially now, you know, when we're all under a bit of pressure with the whole COVID thing, the whole lockdown, you know, our world is rocked a little bit and, um, you know, we're all a little bit under pressure. It's all, uh, we're all kind of misaligned. We're all kind of a bit shell-shocked and it's, you know, we've been bashed around a little bit by, by what's been going on. And at that point, you know, we're not completely settled even yet. But as we start settling, you know, as things come back into place to whatever the new normal is, that word trust is even stretched even more often, in my opinion, you know. I feel that if we've got less people we can trust, you know, I'm not sure. You know, as we get tested more, what happens? Do people become more selfish? Sort myself out, Jack, you know, going to sort myself out and fuck you, like, you know. I don't know. Just throwing that out there, and I don't mince my words, as you can see. So... And then part two of this is, do you trust yourself? <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? Do you trust yourself? Yeah. And this is a big thing. This is obviously game changer. You know, when you look in the mirror in the morning or when you commit to do something, do you follow through with what you said you were going to do? Pop in, pop in a yes or no below. So yes being, yes, I do follow through and I do trust myself and know that I don't always. Huge thing, isn't it? You know, do we do what we said we were going to do? You know, and I challenge, I'm not being negative, but I challenge that most people don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say unfortunately, you know, but at the same time, I'm also going to say, wouldn't life be bloody boring if we all did, yeah? Wouldn't life be, um, we'd all be like robots, wouldn't we? There'd, there'd be no thinking and there'd be no, uh, there'd be no variables, there'd be no differences between people because we would, we would commit to do something, we'd do everything we said we were going to do and life would almost become boring because the human factor, the human element, the human, like, the temptations and the, what do you call it, instant gratification, all those little temptations coming in, the distractions. If we were able to automatically click of a finger, um, ignore all of those, life would be a bit boring, wouldn't it? In all honesty. Uh, Ross says, sometimes not as much as I want to in terms of trusting yourself. What about everyone else? Pipe up, tell me. Do you trust yourself, yes or no? Yeah? <laughs> Big thing. And that was a huge thing on my self-discovery journey, that inner, that inner journey inside, who, who am I? What am I about? You know, um, what I've come out with is certain values like honesty, integrity and transparency. I don't always nail it, but I try fucking damn hard to, you know, because I think they're super, super, super strong values. Really, really, really important to have integrity, to be honest, and to be transparent, you know, and to be sort of consistent, authentically ourselves 24-7, you know. Um, anyway, so... If you're looking for trust, and if you're looking for a group of people to trust, and if you're looking for, in a say, a leader or a coach to trust, you're looking at one, yeah? I'm not no guru. I'm not going to teach you bullshit. I'm not going to teach you lots of theory. I give you half of a plan, and actually, you know, what I see some out there, that they give you half of the plan, they charge you a bomb, and by the end of it, you've got no actionable, um, you know, You've got almost like a pieces of a puzzle. You've almost got like a fucking Ikea, <laughs> Ikea package with bits missing with some of the gurus out there. I'm no guru. Guru. I'm just all about actionable steps, stepping up as our very best self, you know, and I want to give you all the tools that I have, you know, and that I've learned on my journey of uh, my comeback journey. So if you're interested, there's a link um, above or below um, for my ultimate 28 uh, comeback challenge. Yeah, so if you feel like coming back, and let's face it, we all have a comeback journey, don't we? The Rocky story, you know, when Rocky gets back up and he says, come on, man, we got more in us. Let's do some more. You know, if you're in the second half of second phase of your life, you know, like I am, you know, I'm 48. And I was like, you know what? A couple of years ago, I said, fuck it. There's more to this. You know, I want to make a comeback. I want to fix things. I want to be myself. You know, if that's you, jump in. At least have a look, click the link, have a look. So we've got now 14 guys, 14 men who are 
in my opinion, like-minded. I do reject people. You know, if there's people that try to apply that are really, really, really so far from my like-minded type crew, tribe, whatever you want to call it, um, I do reject people, you know, in the politest way. So what I would say, I'm happy that the 14 people who have come in um, are my type of people and like-minded people and people that are are going to at least try, at least try to make a change and make a difference and change their life. So beyond that, if you're interested, click the link, jump in. Super value investment. I'm not in this to, to make millions. I'm in this to, to share and impact as many men as I possibly can and to be the coach that I needed two years ago and I couldn't find. Trust. Do you trust yourself and how many other people do you trust? Take care, guys.